was goody today back in the reaction video today I'm going to react to thursday by the weekend so this is the second installment in this little like trilogy he has um i made a video on house of balloons i remember like a couple months ago i think and i thought it was pretty good i'm glad it's a really good like concept album is that what you call them i don't even know what you call them honestly i'm not, I'm not too like smartsy on these kind of like music terms i guess what's so special about thursday why why is like i kind of like the album cover too it's like uh i don't know it's like Thursday's the happy day, then like Friday and Wednesday are like mid, or they're like sad. I don't even, I don't even know, bro. Lonely Star Original is the first song. Let's get to it. Valerie. Unless you won't regret me like the tattoos on my skin. Mmm. Mmm. I think that's a solid intro. Solid intro. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this hasn't aged well because of the idol, bro, the idol show. Like that absolute catastrophe of a show. Like I feel like it I feel like his music hasn't like I feel like that's gonna like affect his music because his music is gonna be like kinda like cringy now. I feel like what this song the last album on your best friends. I feel like this is a song the last time I like that. I like that I like House of Balloons a lot by the way. I like that a lot. That album's pretty good. So it's like every Thursday, every Thursday he gets a hookup with this girl. Cause I had a comment, I had a comment on, my, on the House of Balloons reaction. This guy was like, Thursday has a really cool meaning if you like catch it. I think, I think that's what he said. So I'm looking out for it. Oh shit. That was a cool intro, I think it kind of dragged a little bit, but I think that was a cool intro. That was a, cool, pretty, that was a pretty cool intro. Next song is Life of the Party. So we're still doing the party vibe, still got the party vibe going on. I can make things of this one so far. Ooh, hold on. Ooh. This is like weird, I don't know, it's like, I kind of like it, but it's like, it's also kind of like, I don't know, I, I don't even know, I gotta listen to it, I gotta keep listening to it. It's kind of cool, I don't know, it's, it's, just, it's just like a little bit of a drag for me on this one. This one's definitely a drag. Like, it's cool, the hook's cool, but like, I don't know why it's five minutes long. I don't know, it could be like a two minute song. So it's just kind of a drag. Like, I feel like this, this song felt like it was like literally seven minutes long. I don't know, like, I, I think I think it's cool, but just it was a little bit of drag. Next song is Thursday. Well, I like to beat this one a lot actually, like so far. Five minute song again. I like this a lot actually. It's, little, it's, it's very like echoey almost. It's dope. It's dope as fuck. This is mm, this is cool. I, I like this a lot so far. I like this a lot. Wait, what? Okay, what? Thursday. That's a bit beats cool. Everything about the song is cool. This song stands out like a lot to me. I feel like the reverb is cool as fuck. He's watching himself record her. I'm not the biggest fan of it, respectfully. I'm not the biggest fan right now, like so far. Not really that crazy about it. Damn. Oh, I forgot Drake's on this. Oh my god. I like, I like actually forgot Drake was on the song. It scared me. It like, actually scared me. Is this the Hotline Bling era? Oh no. Hotline Bling was like 2016. 2015. No, this was like 2014. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I don't know why. I forgot when this album came out. No, Drake definitely carried the song. Drake definitely carried. Like, I, I feel like you'll, you'll never hear me say that in my entire life ever, but I feel like Drake carried the song. This is the Birds Part One. Look at this beat. It says, being upfront about how he feels, Abel isn't going to fall in love and warns the good girl. He warns that if she falls in love with him, those feelings won't be reciprocated. All right, so he's cool then. He's cool because like he communicated that. So if she falls in love, that's on her, bro. That's on her, bro. I'm definitely, I'm definitely on the fence of this one. I'm, de I'm definitely on the fence of this one. This one's cool in some aspects, but like, it's like I don't know. It's like I don't know. I got this little thing. This girl, I'm just a bird. I'm another bird. This one's cool. This one's just cool. I don't know. It's like. The beat, the the drum like kind of beat is cool. Like I don't know, it's all it's all kind of cool. I'm kind of just like over it now though. I'm kind of like over this one. This one isn't like blow me away. So does so does the album cover supposed to represent like each different? Is a different girl or something like that? Is it like a different girl each day? He's fucking a different girl every day because he's a pimp. And then like 
Thursday's the day that, oh, yes, it's my turn. They're like, is that what it is? Is that what it is? <laughs> this is a gunshot. Oh, they, yeah, uh, so it did transition, kind of. Why do you say it like that? Go back, go back. Merit, mer merit, see me. Merit, see me. What? What is he saying like that for? Mercy, mercy me. You're just a bird. He deceived her. What? Didn't didn't he communicate in the last song? Didn't he communicate or two songs ago? I think one song, two songs ago. He didn't he communicate. Oh yeah, like you better not fall in love with me. You better not fall in love with me. He didn't deceive anyone. He didn't deceive anyone. That's on her, buddy. That's on her. That's on her, bro. See, I feel like that's the one thing with this album. Definitely, it's like there's definitely a drag. Like it's definitely like drag. And bro, the next song is eight minutes long. It's just like. It's just like a drag. Like it's like I feel like the first album had a lot of B switches and shit. Like I love that. And like this one's got like this one's just like one continuous drag. So the weekend's just a bird. He's like he's free basically. Next song is gone. Plinky ass beat. Hmm. Like it so far. I like the plinky, I like the plinky beat, but the bass is like weird, it's like soft, it's like a very soft beat. It's a very underwhelming beat, it's weird, or a bass, I mean, not beat, bass. I don't even, I can't really follow the song, I don't even know, it's, it's weird, it's just, I feel like the vo I feel like there's so much voice, there's so much like effects on his voice, it's like weird, I don't know. I almost can't follow it. I, I feel like, I forget, okay. I think I definitely hated on it at first, but like, I think it's like, it's kind of cool, like, it's kind of cool. I want to hear the B-switch, though. It has to have a B-switch. It has to. It has to, bro. This is weird. It's kind of cool, though. Oh, shit. I thought it was going to be, like, uh... I thought it was going to be, like, glass tables. What's it called? Glass tables and something? House of Balloons glass tables, I think it's called. I thought it was going to be like that, where it's going to be, like, a really quick transition, where it just, like, flies in. This is, like, definitely... This is a like, huge build-up. Now it's kind of boring. Beast was just cool, but it's like it's kind of boring now. I don't know. It's kind of boring. It's just yeah, it's just that. I don't know, man. I don't really know. I'm not really. Uh, I was kind of saying with. I was kind of saying with that. It was really. Beast was just cool. The first part was kind of cool. Beast was just cool, and then like boring as fuck. All right, next song is Rolling Stone. Oh what? This is kind of just saying. This one's kind of. I like no real opinion with this right now. I have no real opinion. It's kind of just like, it's kind of just going. I guess it's kind of just doing its thing. This is so boring. This song is so boring. I'm gonna be honest. I like. I just, I just kicked in right now. Like I'm not interested in this song at all. Next song is Heaven or Las Vegas. That this album definitely feels like a uh, step down though from House of Balloons. 100%. I gotta say some sinus medicines, goddamn. My, sin my sinus is going crazy right now. Oh, so this is this is the most views on the album, goddamn. 27 million? Mmm. I don't know. I think, I think it, like, kicked in, right? I don't know. I think, that, I think that's what I didn't like about it. I think, like, a lot of songs in here were, like, Okay, cool part, cool part, cool part, and then it's like, oh, okay, back to slow part, back to slow part. Okay, cool part, cool part, cool part, cool part, okay, back to slow part. Like, that's what just happened in the song. Like, I, I like the hook a lot, and then it just went back to, like, uh... I liked probably three songs in this album. I don't know, I wasn't really that crazy about it. I think the meaning's cool, I think the concept's cool. Um, damn, I don't know, it's definitely a step down from House of Balloons, though. Definitely a step down. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. And, it's, and like, I didn't like how the song's dragged so much. There's only one B-switch song on the album there's only one b switch there were so many like four i think on the last album i don't even know i don't know this wasn't really that crazy but i think it's cool i can understand why people don't really care for it like that i 100 percent now i 100 percent uh understand now um hopefully echoes of silence isn't as bad i'm pretty sure this, that one's good I, I, don't, I don't even know i heard that one's good but um yeah thursday wasn't wasn't that crazy bad i don't know it's cool um yeah thank you for watching this far um if you like this content make sure to like and subscribe comment down below what you think of the album and as always i'll see you next video peace out